<clears throat> I'm 24 and met an 18-year-old girl whose father died a month ago. Should I try to take her out or let her go? You should take her out. I mean, she just lost her dad, her source of mas- main source of masculinity. I assume she had a tight relationship with him. Take her out and show her a good time. Because, you know, she's probably spent plenty of days being home being miserable. If you could take her out and make her laugh and forget about what just happened and be in the moment and make her smile and laugh and giggle, that's how magic happens. You know, you're able to remove her from She can stay at home and cry or be upset or she can go out and live her life. And so take her out. If she likes you and she's open to it, she'll go out with you. There's a lot of guys thinking that situation, oh, I'm going to wait six months and I'll be her friend and I'll buy her things and I'll tell her how much I care about her and I'll be Mr. Nice Guy. And then meanwhile, three months later, they find out that she's sleeping with some other guy who was a little more aggressive and took charge and and led her because it's, I mean, at the end of the day, when you're, especially when you're in a relationship or a long-term relationship, really a lot of it is just existing together. What you do day in, day out. Going to bed together, waking up in the morning together, showering together, going and doing fun things together, hanging out with friends, family, or just sitting, hanging out, and watching TV at night, unwinding after the day. So you got to get out there and participate in life. And if she's suffering and then she's like, well, my dad just died. It's like, you know what? You need to get out of the house. Come hang out with me and escape. Let's go to Dave and Buster's and play some video games up and blow up some bad people and <laughs> play smash up derby and the go-karts and piss off the guys that work at the go-kart track and let's go do some fun be ridiculous and get out of the house yeah. let's go have a yeah. good time you also just have to be very careful because the, a woman at that point in time who lost someone that is her masculine figure is probably very vulnerable yeah. at that point in time but it, she'll appreciate the fact that you take her out you handle yeah. the dinner reservations all she has to do is show up look hot and just have fun and laugh and she'll really appreciate the fact that you basically created an escape from her life because she's got probably plenty of friends and family oh what have oh i'm so sorry oh, it's ter- so her whole world is just you know she just lost her father whereas you can be a complete escape to where everybody's focused on the emotions of the loss and her family and the people she spends her time with and meanwhile she comes and hangs out with you and has a great escape and she's so happy, she maybe goes home and beats up your pelvis at night and calls you the next day and tells you what a great time. It was the best date she ever had. It's the best she's felt in a long time since her she lost her dad. And you say, like, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. I'd love to see you again when you're available. And then you make the next date. And then two or three days later, you're back at it again doing something completely different. And just like I talk about 3% Man, you – go to three different places each different place is almost like its own date and so whenever she's with you because whatever a woman feels when she's with you is what she's going to associate with being with you and if you want to be a mangina and turn into her therapist and be a drag and focus on the emotions and oh i'm so sorry about your your dad dying it's like you're eliciting negative emotions in her and so she's going to associate negative emotions with you versus you sweeping her off her feet say let's get the hell out of the house and go have some fun because it creates an escape from her life. And then if she's having fun and everybody else is a drag, guess what? You're the new rock. You're the new mountain. You become, can become the center of her world. So take her out. Have also, a good time. Also, death isn't easy um, to um, to heal from. Like, I, under, I understand it's very difficult because I've, obviously I've had some family members that have passed away. But that kind of stuff, it, you know, it it takes time. The whole healing process takes time. So it's not going to be a permanent thing. The, the, you know, all that pain, all that grief is temporary. So, you know, you shouldn't think that's a permanent thing. And on top of that, dude, if you like her, go for it. And if she likes you, that's awesome, too. I think Why you guys not? missed the fact that he's 24 and she's 18. She literally just got out of high school. So what? He's like six years. It's like me dating a 19-year-old right now. But they're it's well, legal. Dating they're of legal age, so yeah. But she's so young and so vulnerable that if she's going through losing a father who is a dominant 
you know, person in her life. So you'd rather her sit at home and be feel sorry for herself? I don't even think she'll be able to go out without asking her mom or being at your place late at night. That's not always the case, though, because there's some 18-year-olds that their parents just drop them off at college in a different state, and they're like, well, have fun. Yeah, 18's yeah. when you don't go mess off to up. college. Not yeah. everybody's a baby. Not everybody yeah. is... You know, I, everything's I mean, in control. our case, it was different, Caroline, but there are people that when their kids turn 18, they're like, okay. Caroline yeah. wants to turn the guys into a nice guy. It's and still. I'm saying take her out. I think it's still weird for a 24 year old to be. It's because of the mindset, trying. and it's like a huge age difference. If she's yeah. mature, she'll like dating an older, more mature man Obviously. that knows. What he Any wants. girl at that age would want to date an older guy, but realistically, it's like, if I you see, think I, of, I, if I you understand think about what you're it, saying. Yeah. It is like fresh out of high school, it's just like, you're 24. Why are you going for such a young age? Like, he's probably in college right now, too. But it's just like, like you could just. And then it, I, I see what you're saying. It's like, oh, her dad just died, so she's vulnerable. So maybe she'll. Yeah, kinda... she's gonna reach yeah, for Caroline's any type going, of Be a comfort. nice guy. Be there for yeah, her. Yeah, like, like she's gonna reach. She for wants anything. comfort. But what if they comfort, connect? But... Well, what if it's good? Yeah, Granted, but... their mindsets are gonna be completely different. But if they make it work, they make it work. He could abuse but, that power. Yeah, though. that's what she's. And she we're would assuming have he's to. a good guy. Yeah. you're assuming the worst negative Nancy. That's the worst case scenario. All I'm saying. She's 18. I wouldn't be trying to waste your time and pursue that. I'm saying go for it, dude. Why not? How are you going to know if you don't try? Sh yeah, exactly. And then you if it doesn't work out, she's going to be more that. Yeah. She's gonna be more. He, he, maybe he just wanted to hook up with her and bang her. And then yeah, now or, she's... Mm -hmm. Or if he doesn't Blind know how to The fact that he's else. asking the question shows that he's concerned. No, yeah. And if he's concerned, it means he cares. That's just a and different situation. So if he situation. cares, I would assume he's probably a good dude. But where guys like that go wrong, because when I was younger, I thought the same way. And you act like Mr. Nice Guy, and all you do is end up with blue balls. And then she goes and actually gets serious with the guy that had the balls to ask her out and take her out and help her escape from her life. But then again, there's also the point, like, there's also the point that what if she just doesn't want to go out at the moment, too? Yeah, so. she can say no. It's like, she well, if you want to no. get out, you want to escape, you want to go to Dave and Buster's and blow up some space aliens with me and play Smash Up Derby and the go-kart track. It's like, I don't know. I'd yeah. love to do it. I mean, get out there and have me. some fun. Because everybody's going to die sometime. And the older you get, the more you realize is, is all kinds of shit happens that you don't expect. People th that you thought are going to be ride or die with you for decades drop dead at 20 21 years old unexpectedly i had a girl i was friends with i was at a bar in fort lauderdale we were hanging out she's one of the sweetest nicest people that i grew up with and literally seven days later she went diving got some kind of infection in her ear and it spread to her brain and boom she was dead and it was shocking to me i had another friend who became a, a navy seal it was his dream from the time he was 12 years old he always his brother told me this. His brother's a cool guy too, but he said all he ever wanted to do from he's 12 years old was be a Navy SEAL because his, I think it was his grandfather was one of the original frogmen back in the was late 50s, early 60s that eventually became the SEALs. And so he, that was his thing. And we were like 22 years old. He was, he went to a wedding with some of his SEAL teammates. And he and another guy were in the back. I think it was a Jeep they, they were in. And the other, another SEAL was driving, and that SEAL had his girlfriend next to him. And I don't know, 3 in the morning on the way back from another SEAL's wedding, somebody ran a red light or a stop sign, I can't remember, and, and killed my friend and killed his other SEAL teammate. They were in the back. They were 22 years old. He lived and accomplished his purpose, but boom, he was gone like that. So life is harsh. Nature is harsh. It's savage, and at the end of the day, nobody gives a damn about your problems. Nobody cares about my problems, and they're glad that we have them. You have no idea how much or how little time you have left on the planet, and so you might as well get out there and enjoy it. Because the bottom line is that whatever a woman feels when she's with you is what she's going to associate with being with you. You can be the nice guy mangina route and say, I'm going to be friends with her for six months, and hopefully she'll give me a shot. And but typically you do that, you get stuck in friend zone with blue balls. And then next thing you know, she's sleeping with some other guy that was more bolder and took more risk and took her out and showed her a good time. So I would not sit around and wait on that. I wouldn't sleep on that. 
shoot your shot. If she's not interested or say, I'm still healing, say, great. Well, when you feel up to it and you want to go play Smash Up Derby with me and have an escape, because I know it sucks. I've lost family members. I've lost friends or whatever. It's like, I'd love that. Let's go do it. Let's go have a blast. And leave it at that. And don't ever call or text her again. And if she likes you, when she's having a tough day, she's like, this sucks. I want to have some fun. She'll call you because every time she interacts with you, she you make her smile. You make her happier. 